Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are set to return to the campaign trail this week. Harris and her running mate, Governor Tim Walz, are kicking off a bus tour in Georgia, hoping to build on their momentum following the DNC. Meanwhile, Trump aims to fight for the spotlight, planning to hit multiple battleground states with his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. And when joining us now, so and let's talk this out. New numbers from the Harris Walls campaign out this morning is saying that it raised $82 million on the week of the DNC. So what are we going to see from them this week? I mean, they're riding on a lot of momentum here. Yeah, absolutely, Morgan. I mean, that is a huge surge in donations after the DNC. The Harris campaign says that they actually have raised $540 million since her months-long campaign began. And they say that's a record for any campaign. So now, as you mentioned, Morgan, they're going to be riding on this energy that came from the DNC. They have a jam-packed schedule coming up. The Harris Walls campaign, of course, going out to a bus tour in Georgia. This is going to be a very crucial state for them. This is a state in which Biden had just narrowly won in 2020. We understand right after that bus tour that Harris will then be having a solo campaign rally in Savannah, Georgia. And then after that, we are expecting them to continue their busy schedule. Harris and Walls are expected to then have a joint interview along with attending several fundraisers across the nation. Of course, all of this happening while those two are trying to keep up that momentum from the DNC just about 71 days out from Election Day, Morgan. All right, let's turn to the Republican ticket because you, you spoke about the energy that the Democrats are experiencing right now. I wonder what type of pressure that's going to put on Republicans here. Where are Trump and Vance setting their focus this week? Yeah, there's so much energy in the Democratic Party right now that the Republicans really have to step up their game. So we are expecting former President Trump to now head over to Michigan. It's actually going to be his third time in the battleground state in just the last nine uh, nine days. And so this is going to be a very crucial state as well. There are 15 electoral votes in this state that Trump really is looking forward to trying to capture during this time. We are expecting former President Trump to be in Detroit tomorrow. He's expected to be attending a National Guard Association conference. Thursday, he is expected to also make a campaign stop elsewhere in the state to talk about economy, inflation, manufacturing. And this has been recently on Trump's mind. He thinks it's an issue that will help Republicans win in November. So this is going to be a time in which both of these tickets are really going to be out there, you know, trying to make their message, trying to kind of battle each other in the message on economy. Uh, of course, those two states are going to be crucial in the election coming up, Morgan. Absolutely crucial stakes. And when thank you so much.